Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Saeed Ali Mardanazmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will learn some basic terminologies about cylindrical coordinates and then we will learn how we can evaluate triple integral in cylindrical coordinates. Cylindrical coordinates represent a point P in a space by the ordered triplets R, theta, Z in which R and theta are polar coordinates for vertical projection of P on the XY plane. This is the rectangular vertical coordinate. What it means? If you take an example of two dimension space, that is, if you take only x axis and y axis, then the coordinate of this point, where right now my mouse is here, the coordinate of this point will be r and theta in polar coordinates. And if we lift this point in the third dimension in the direction of z axis, then the coordinates of this point become r, theta, and c. So the third axis, which is involved in polar coordinates, will develop a cylindrical coordinate system. Now, after learning the basic terms about cylindrical coordinate system, we will learn the transformation equations of cylindrical and rectangular coordinate system. X is equal to R cos theta, Y is equal to R sin theta. If you remember, X is equal to R cos theta and Y is equal to R sin theta are the transformation equation for the polar coordinates. And R is equal to X squared plus Y squared and tan theta is equal to y over x or theta is equal to tan inverse of y over x are also the transformation equation for the reverse process. And here for the third axis, we will take z equal to z in the process of transformation. Also, the volume differential in cylindrical coordinates will be taken in the process of integration as dzr dr d theta. What it means if we have to solve a triple integral in cylindrical coordinates, then the order of integration will be as our most inner variable is always z, our center variable is always r, and our most outer variable is always theta. And this arrangement is fixed in cylindrical coordinates. Means in cylindrical coordinates, we will perform integration with respect to z first, then will perform integration with respect to r and then we'll perform integration with respect to theta. So it is an iterative process and this in this process, the order is fixed. Now the limits of z are 0 to 3 plus 24 r square. Limits of r are 0 to theta over 2 pi and limits of theta are 0 to 2 pi. Now the integration of z is dz is z for the given limit 0 to 3 plus 24 r square. Applying fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit, we have 3 plus 24 r square minus 0. So up till here, we have completed the process of integration and simplification with respect to z. In the next step, we will perform integration with respect to r. For this purpose, we can multiply each term with r. So we have 3 r square plus 24 r cube for the given limit 0 to theta over 2 pi. In the next step, we will perform the integration as 3 into r square over 2. Integration of r is r square over 2 by using power formula. Integration of r cube is r raised to power 4 over 4 for the given limits. Making the simplification, we have 3 by 2 r square plus 6 r raised to power 4 for the given limit 0 to theta over 2 pi. In the next step, after simplification, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. For upper limit, we will replace r with theta over 2 pi. And for lower limit, we have replaced r with 0. Now, in the next step, making the simplification, we have 3 over 8 pi square theta square plus 6 over 16 pi raised to power 4 theta raised to power 4 d theta. Now, up till here, we have completed the process of integration and simplification with respect to r. In the next step, we will perform the integration of this function with respect to theta. Now, <coughs> the integration of theta squared will be theta cube over 3. And integration of theta raised to power 4 is theta raised to power 5 over 5. Here, 3 over 8 pi squared and 3 over 8 pi raised to power 4 will be behave like constant and remain as it is. So here's the integration. In the next step, applying fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit, we have 3 over 8 pi. For upper limit, we have replaced theta with 2 pi 
here theta with 2 pi and for lower limit we have replaced theta with 0. So our second bracket becomes 0 and we have from the first bracket after simplification 3 and 3 can, will be cancelled out 2 raised to power 3 is 2 cube 2 cube is actually 8 8 and 8 will be cancelled out pi square will be cancelled out with pi cube so we have only one pi in the next step in the first term from the second term we have 12 pi over pi following the similar process of simplification pi raised to power 4 when we cancel out with pi raised to power 5 we get only 5 and 3 to the 12 uh, sorry, three, uh, when we simplify 2 raised to the power 5 with 8 uh, and then multiply with 3, we will get 12 pi over 5. Now taking the LCM, we have LCM as 5, 5 pi plus 12 pi, which is equal to 17 pi over 5. I hope you understand this whole process. Please like, subscribe and share to my channel and recommend this content to your Palace. Allah Hafiz.